pipe. Rotate the flange when installed, which is good for main shaft gear and drive gear meshing. Set three-way union and 45 degree elbow on the cylinder. Check if the main case gears can rotate freely and the three sliding sleeves are at the neutral position or not before installing the top cover. And don't forget to set the gasket. Lift the top cover assembly and make sure that the guide block is at the neutral position. When close the top cover, prevent the gasket from miss location. Set the two long bolts and hoisting ring at front and rear end of the top cover and coat glue on top cover and bolts at the perforation of housing. Leave the two bolts with flat mat loose for fixing the wind pipe later. Install four double head bolts on the top cover with the thin thread upwards and thick thread downwards and coat glue on the thick thread. Add gasket on the window of top cover. Install double H assembly and make sure that the striking finger and shifting arm are vertically downward set on the top cover and fixing the windpipe. Then set four coned nuts, screw down. and then set the four flat nuts in turn. Clamp the four windpipes. Connect the low speed windpipe with union of cylinder. Connect the pressure adjusting valve with inlet pipe and fix it on the cover of cylinder with two 6x50 bolts and then connect high speed windpipe with union of cylinder. Set top cover and the oil hole bolt at with adhesive tape. Prepare bearing cover of input shaft, oil seal, gasket and install them together. When in the open, firstly, underlay oil seal sized washer, then fix the oil seal. When install bearing cover of input shaft and the gasket, do avoid from the oil hole. and set the two bolts with holes on the top so as easy to install the return spring of the release bearing then set and screw down the left four bolts in turn. Installation of clutch housing assembly and gasket. Install the gasket in advance then the clutch housing. Set six flat gaskets find out two long bolts and two short bolts Coat glue and then screw down separately. And then install six self locking nuts. Use six bolts to rivet the brake of auxiliary shaft with gaskets in between. Finished transmission assembly. Check the air pressure. Remove the bolt stem from the three-way union beside the double H valve. Install the pressure meter. Whole truck air pressure is 0.8 MP. Getting through the air pressure adjusting valve, the air pressure is dropped to 0.41 to 0.44 MP. The double H valve distributes the air pressure to low speed or high speed shifting cylinder to realize low speed and high speed switch of the synchronizer in auxiliary case. Dismantle the two 5 times 60 bolts on the pressure adjusting valve. Dismantle high speed windpipe plug and 45 degree plug. Dismantle the four bolts on the shifting cylinder cover and remove the cylinder cover. Dismantle the four bolts on the rear cover of countershaft and remove the bearing cover. Disassemble the QH50 PTO assembly and separate the front housing and rear cover of PTO.
Set gasket, then connect the front housing of the PTO with the transmission and tighten it with hex angular bolts. Install the hollow shaft, sliding sleeve, yoke, drive gear. Two needle bearing, pressure plate separately, and tighten with fine bolts. Close the combining face of the PTO housing with sealed glue, then install the rear cover and tighten the five inner hex angular bolts and two long bolts. Tighten the six inner six hexangular bolts in the PTO cylinder, then install the vent plug. Set gasket of the shifting cylinder cover without glue. Check the cylinder middle assembly, position restricting ring, middle piston and O-ring. Assembly the middle position cylinder. Firstly, install the O-ring in the piston. Add lubricating cleats and push it into the cylinder body. Secondly, set the position restricting ring and combine it with the shifting cylinder. Finally, fix the middle position cylinder with four bolts. With the pressure adjusting installation part outwards, set the 45 degree elbow on the cylinder of shifting position. Fix the pressure adjusting valve with two 5 times 60 bolts. Install the high speed windpipe on the cylinder. Dismantle the double-edge operation device, unload the two bolts used to paint up the wing pipe, then dismantle the four fixing bolts. Downwards, knock rear side of the double-edge operation housing and lift up the double-edge operation assembly for about 3 cm. Release the three springs at the rear end, preventing the springs dropping to the housing. Dismantle top cover sub-assembly. After unload four bolts around the top cover, use a copper stick to knock the top cover with the other hand pressing the three springs to make the top cover separated from the housing. Then take down the top cover. Unload six self-locking nuts and the gaskets. Unload two long bolts and two short ones. Use a copper stick to knock on the clutch housing and let it loose, then take off the clutch housing sub-assembly. Unload the bearing cover of the input shaft. Unload six bolts and knock on the bearing cover of the input shaft and then take it off. Check the oil seal. Shift any gear with the rocker arm, clamp the flange of the main shaft. Remove the input shaft out with tools. Knock on the input shaft with copper stick repeatedly, take off input shaft bearing and check the flexibility of the bearing. Remove the input shaft gasket with screwdriver and then check. Remove the snap ring of the input shaft with screwdriver. Take out input shaft, check the wear condition of guide sleeve. Install input shaft.